Good morning, AB Stars. I'm Ella. And I'm Maitri. We're your ABE TV anchors. Today is Tuesday, April 21st. It is a D2 day for special areas. Mrs. Wood's second grade class is still needing donations for Fido. So please donate pet supplies and money. Give the money you bring to your teacher and bring more items to help. This week is Penny Wars. Remember that if you put a dollar in another grade level's bin, that it takes 100 pennies away. I might try to put a dollar in another grade's bin today. Communication night is Thursday from 5.30 to 7.30. I try my best to make it there. There will be lots of students, there will be a lot of student projects and performances to see. There is also free spaghetti dinner you can, and you can shop in the book fair. Our birthday, our birthday stars are Hattie Martin, Lizzie Dickman, and Izzy Simonson. Simonson. Make sure to go down to the office to get your card and pencil. Have a fabulous birthday. Our, lun our lunch choices are a personal pan pizza or a chicken pot pie with a biscuit. The sides are corn, baby carrots, and assorted fruits and juices. We have a knock-knock joke from Ruben and Mrs. Pino's class. Knock-knock. Who's there? Tank. Tank who? You're welcome. Great joke, Ruben. If you have a joke, put your name and your teacher's name on it. Pledge leaders are from Mrs. Deeg's great fifth grade leaders. I mean. uh, th take it away, fifth grade leaders. Hi, I'm Kayla. Hi, I'm Isabel. What's up? I'm Keaton. Hi, I'm Eric. What's up? I'm Jordan. What's up? I'm Cameron. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Have you ever imagined what it would be like to be inside the mind of an animal as awesome as a gorilla? Now imagine what it would be like if you were stuck in a tiny little cage inside a shopping mall for 27 years without other gorillas. That really happened and I decided to tell this story. I'm Katherine Applegate and I wrote The One and Only Ivan. It's based on the true story of a beautiful gorilla named Ivan who spent almost 30 years in a cage. When Ivan was about six months old, he was captured, thrown in a cage, and sent to Tacoma, Washington, where he spent those 30 odd years living in a tiny little bitty cage with no stimulation. He was not exposed to other gorillas. In essence, he forgot how to be a gorilla. Among the many things he did to fill his empty hours was he finger painted. He loved to finger paint. He ear painted, he nose painted. That was one way they found to entertain him. What I hope you get from Ivan's story is the fact that it was kids who helped change his life. Kids saw the way he was being treated and they boycotted the mall. They wrote letters to the editor and eventually Ivan was released to a whole different world. Imagine what it must have been like when he ended up at a zoo with other gorillas for the first time in 27 years. He could play, he could communicate, he could be a gorilla again. So if you have a soft spot in your heart for animals, especially gorillas, look for the one and only Ivan at your Scholastic Book Fair. So many new books. So many choices. Your Scholastic Book Fair has books you'll want to read. The Book Fair is here.
All April Honor readers who just saw their picture should come to the lobby after ABE TV. Teachers, the list is on Outlook if you need it. Did you know that pandas eat as much as 36 pounds of bamboo a day? That's about as heavy as 144 hamburgers. I can't imagine eating that much a day. Me neither. Speaking of cute animals, the Cub Scouts are collecting stuffed animals. Please donate stuffed animals that are in good shape. They will be cleaned and given to the fire and police departments. I'll bring some in this week. Thanks for watching ABE TV. I'm Ella. And I'm Matrix saying please take a moment of silence and bring pet supplies, stuffed animals, and money for Penny Wars. Thank you.